everyone, this is Sal Mandaranagram with ReactorTutorials.com and today I'm going to be working on the second part of a tutorial using receive modules to create a open-ended dynamic routing system in Reactor. So the first part of this tutorial detailed the creation of a macro that contains the receive module and uh, shows how we can use an incoming event signal to control which send module is being received by the receive module. Um, and so you can see here we can turn this knob and it will change the active send in the receive module. So today I'm going to expand upon this concept to create a simple FM synthesizer with six oscillators and the user will be able to choose between a variety of routing setups to choose um, which oscillators are being modulated by which other mo oscillators and which ones are sent to the output of the ensemble. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so usually I like to build uh, my tutorials on screen so that everyone can check out my building process and see how I put everything together but unfortunately today's work is a little too large and in-depth for that I just can't put it together that quickly so instead I built the whole thing ahead of time and we'll just go over it piece by piece and I'll show you how it works it's all very simple it's a bunch of very simple modules, macros that I've created and then duplicated a bunch of different times um, and then I'll provide a download of the ensemble too in case you want to take a closer look. Alright, so this first little macro I want to show you is simply the sends macro. It just has six send modules in it and nothing else. These um, provide the signals for the receive modules to receive and um, they're going to be fed with our six FM oscillators. So these oscillators are pretty basic. Each one has three of the receive macros that we created from last time. And we're adding together the values, which is basically the same as sending them through a mixer, and then multiplying them by the frequency of the oscillator. And so each one can receive up to three modulating oscillators. And then we simply have a amplitude and pitch knobs to finish things off. And then our larger oscillators macro here is just six of those smaller oscillator macros. Um, then they each have a pitch and gate inputs and some inputs for their receive macros. Okay, so now we've created a bunch of sound makers, and all we have to do is create the variable routing systems for those. So what I've done is created another macro called Mode Selector, named after one of my favorite music acts. When it's just got a knob from 0 to 8, uh, 0 to 7 actually, and it just allows us to select between 8 different routing modes. So, um, while this looks a little intimidating, it's just made up of these very simple macros that simply receive a value from the knob, um, and that value chooses a, another value from this selector module, and depending on which position is chosen, that value will be sent to the given receive module. And then we have this uh, macro duplicated a bunch of times, once for each receive module in the ensemble. So this is really cool because it means we can turn a single knob or press a button or something and completely rearrange the way that an ensemble is wired, how it works, how it sounds, etc. Um, so, so far I've shown you how to wire up all the audio modules so that they go into send modules and can talk amongst themselves but now let's talk about how we can get some audio going to the output of our ensemble 
Um, it's extremely easy. I simply use some more receive modules and we can choose which um, audio modules to grab sound from and send to our speakers. And so that's really cool too. You can also create systems where um, you have a whole bunch of different stuff that can be rearranged at will and you can choose which ones um, are sent to your speakers and which ones are ignored. And another cool thing about this system is if you have audio modules that are unused, um, they actually will turn off as well, and you can save some CPU that way, uh, kind of the same way that you could with a switch. So the routing system that I've pre-programmed in today, today's Assemble is based on the Yamaha DX7 which allows up to three modulators per oscillator, which is why I programmed that in, and also allows for up to six outputs. So we have six receive macros here in our output ma um, macro, and they are all mixed together. And then we simply send the output to an envelope and then to the output of the ensemble. Um, I think a lot of the more popular FM synthesizers, each oscillator will have its own envelope. Um, I didn't really feel like taking the time to do that today, but it would be a pretty easy addition. All right, let's take a look at the panel. I created this giant knob here to let the user decide which routing options to use. And because that kind of gives you all the information you need about the receive macros, you can actually turn them all invisible, uh, which will give you a much nicer and cleaner panel view. But I wanted to keep them on uh, for testing purposes and just to prove that it works. And so let's take a quick listen. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Salamander Anagram. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a lot more stuff just like it. Have a good one.